Have you ever looked up at the night sky, maybe on a clear winter evening, and noticed a particularly bright reddish star sitting on the shoulder of Orion, the great hunter from ancient mythology? That star is Betelgeuse. It's one of the most well-known stars in the night sky, not just because of its brightness or its place in a famous constellation, but because of what it is and what it's destined to do. Betelgeuse isn't just any ordinary star, it's absolutely enormous, incredibly unstable, and nearing the end of its life. And when that life comes to a close, it will go out with one of the most powerful and dramatic bangs the universe can produce, a supernova. What makes Betelgeuse even more intriguing is the mystery surrounding when that supernova might happen. It could take place tonight while we're all asleep. It could erupt next year, or it might not happen for another hundred thousand years. That's the scale we're dealing with when we talk about the life and death of stars. But recently, something unusual happened, something that grabbed the attention of astronomers all over the planet. Betelgeuse started behaving strangely, doing something we hadn't seen it do before. And that change sparked a wave of intense observation, speculation and investigation. To understand why Betelgeuse's behavior is such a big deal, it helps to know what kind of star it is. Betelgeuse is classified as a red supergiant. These are among the largest stars in the universe by volume, and they exist in the late stages of stellar evolution. Betelgeuse, in particular, is truly gigantic. If we could somehow replace our own sun with Betelgeuse, its vast bloated surface would reach all the way past the orbit of Jupiter. That means its diameter is roughly 764 times that of the sun, and in terms of mass, it's more than 10 times heavier. These are mind-bending numbers. When you try to wrap your head around them, despite its size, Betelgeuse is relatively young. It's about 10 million years old, far younger than our sun, which is about 4.6 billion years old. But massive stars like Betelgeuse live much shorter lives than smaller ones. They burn through their fuel at a much faster rate, pushing through the stages of nuclear fusion rapidly and ultimately reaching the end of their lives in just a few million years. And Betelgeuse right now is running low on the fuel that keeps it stable. When a star is getting close to the end, it usually doesn't go quietly. There are signals, signs that something is happening. And back in late 2019, Betelgeuse gave us one of those signals in dramatic fashion. Observers began to notice something strange. The star was dimming, significantly. It lost about two-thirds of its usual brightness, and this dimmed state lasted for several weeks. This wasn't just a slight flicker. It was noticeable even to people with backyard telescopes, and it sparked a global conversation. Was this it? Was Betelgeuse finally on the verge of exploding? Astronomers mobilized quickly. Observatories on Earth and in space turned their attention to Betelgeuse. Some of the most powerful instruments humanity has built were directed toward this one star. The Hubble Space Telescope, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, known as ALMA, and the Very Large Telescope in Chile all began monitoring the red giant in high detail. Everyone wanted to know what was going on. Was this the beginning of the long-anticipated supernova? The answer, it turned out, was no. Not yet. Betelgeuse wasn't exploding, at least not at that moment. But something extraordinary had occurred. Scientists discovered that the star had experienced a massive surface eruption. This was something far more extreme than the solar flares we see from our sun. Betelgeuse had expelled a colossal cloud of gas and dust from its outer layers. And by chance, this vast cloud drifted directly into our line of sight, temporarily, obscuring the light from the star and making it appear dimmer to observers on Earth. This event became known as the Great Dimming. It wasn't just a curious moment. It was historic. It was the first time astronomers had ever observed such an eruption from a red supergiant. This wasn't just a flare or a pulse. It was a huge, chaotic shedding of stellar material, revealing just how unstable Betelgeuse had become. For scientists, it was like catching a red supergiant in the act of sneezing, a massive, dusty, cosmic sneeze. And to give you an idea of just how massive that cloud of dust was, consider this. It stretched about 400 million kilometers across. That's more than the distance between the Sun and Mars. That's how large Betelgeuse's burps can be. 
It's a testament to the incredible power and volatility of stars this size and to the scale at which the universe operates. Since the Great Dimming, astronomers haven't taken their eyes off Betelgeuse. They've kept watching, collecting data, and studying the star's behavior to better understand what's going on inside. And more surprises have come to light. For one, Betelgeuse appears to be spinning faster than anyone expected. That's unusual for a star of its size and stage in life. One theory suggests that Betelgeuse might have swallowed a smaller companion star at some point in the past. That would have transferred angular momentum to Betelgeuse, increasing its rotation rate, much like how an ice skater spins faster when pulling in their arms. Meanwhile, deep inside the star, something much more serious is happening. Betelgeuse's core is going through the final stages of nuclear fusion. It's fusing heavier and heavier elements, something that only happens when a star is approaching its collapse. Eventually, the core will become so dense and heavy that it can't support its own weight. When that moment comes, the core will collapse in on itself, triggering a supernova explosion that will be visible across vast distances of space. As for when that will happen, honestly, no one knows. It could be very soon, or it could be tens of thousands of years away. In the grand scale of the universe, a window of a few thousand or even a hundred thousand years is a blink of an eye. From our human perspective, it's impossible to pin down the exact timeline, but what we do know is that when it does happen, it's going to be spectacular. The supernova will likely be so bright that it will rival the full moon in our sky. It might even be visible in the middle of the day. Despite the brightness, there's no danger to Earth. Betelgeuse is about 642 light-years away, far enough that the explosion won't cause any harm to our planet. But from a visual standpoint, it could be one of the most awe-inspiring astronomical events humanity has ever witnessed. For now, Betelgeuse continues to shine in the night sky, glowing with its deep red hue, pulsing gently, and keeping its secrets. It's a reminder that the universe is never still. It's dynamic, ever-changing, and full of surprises. Even stars we've observed for centuries can suddenly do something unexpected, and in doing so, teach us something new about the cosmos. As we continue to watch Betelgeuse and wait, perhaps for days, perhaps for millennia, it serves as a symbol of the living, breathing nature of the universe. The stars above us aren't frozen in time. They're evolving, transforming, and sometimes preparing for a final, spectacular farewell. And in the case of Betelgeuse, that farewell could be one of the most stunning celestial events of our entire lifetime. We'd love to hear what you think. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoy exploring the mysteries of the universe, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next.